Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time, we are talking about data to analytics using Hadoop, Spark and Tableau. So, so far we have covered overview and the prerequisites and now we will start setting up the environment. As part of the setting up of environment, we have to set up several things. Uh, one is uh, uh, Cloudera, Quickstart VM and Tableau. So, those two are the main things which we need to uh, set up. So, first we will start with Cloudera Quick Start VM. For that, we need to make sure that we have virtual box or VMware and then we have to download the uh, respective image. Either you can use uh, VMware image or virtual box image uh, depending upon the underlying software. So, as part of this video, I will use VMware image to download and uh, uh, set up on my laptop. Before uh, getting into that also make sure that you have 16 GB RAM that is absolutely mandatory to perform these tasks without 16 GB RAM you will struggle quite a bit okay so that being said now let me go to Google and uh, type Cloudera quick start VM and hit enter you need to click on the second link Cloudera Quick Start VM, sorry not this one, actually this one, uh, the one which have the downloads in it, ok, click on this link and then choose the version, so I will be demonstrating using 5.7, so I will recommend you also to download 5.7 only, you can uh, click on this to select a platform, so there are four types of uh, images. Uh, for uh, quick start VM, one is docker image, second one is KVM for Linux, third one is third and fourth ones are virtual box or VMware, virtual box and VMware will uh, does work for both Windows as well as Mac. Okay, so if you want to download the VMware image, you have to click on VMware and click on download now. It will ask you to, to fill this form and then it will show you the download link. Once it is downloaded, on Mac it will be downloaded to the downloads directory on windows also typically it will be downloaded to downloads directory so on mac you can actually click on this and uh, uh, click on uh, the search button for the image and you can see that it says zip file um, uh, which we have to unzip and open using virtual um, soft virtualization software such as vmware fusion on mac if it is windows it is vmware workstation so i am copying this one uh, to actually, I am moving to different uh, location. It is under documents research. So, this is the location which I want to crea create this VM. So, I am going to research big data virtual machines and I am leaving it here. Okay, this is the old one and I am deleting it empty trash and then I am unzipping it. So, it will take some time to unzip uh, this one. Once it is uh, unzipped, you will see a directory here and then we can open it using the virtualization uh, software such as VMware Fusion on Mac. Before starting it, we need to take certain steps like increasing the memory etc and we will see those steps once it is unzipped. Okay, now it is unzipped. We don't need the zip file anymore. So, you can actually move it to trash. If you want to have the backup, you can have it. But I am moving it to trash to save the space. Or let me actually keep it for now. I will take a backup rather than deleting it. Anyway, leave it like that for now. But in your case, make sure you delete it to reclaim the space. Otherwise, it will take around 4 GB uh, unnecessarily on your uh, PC. And then you can double click on this and you will see a file called Cloudera Quick Start VMware.vmx. Either you can double click it to open it with VMware Fusion and start it automatically or you can launch the VMware Fusion, click on add button, import, choose file. So, it is under uh, documents, research, big data virtual machines Cloudera quick start vm i think this is not the one we can cancel it 
and here we can actually say open and then uh, you can navigate to that path it is automatically navigated because uh, earlier as part of your ad i tried going to that path so it took me directly over there so open this one and do not start immediately first go to settings by clicking on virtual machine settings and uh, here you can go to process and memory and you have to give at least 10 gb of storage it is only showing 8 gb here let me see 8192 It should, it should show 16 GB, probably some other VM might be running uh, at this time. Nothing is running. I am not sure why it is showing only 8 GB. Uh, it is only allowing me to set up to 8 GB. Ideally, I should be able to increase it to 10 GB also. Let me try that. Okay, let me close this. Discard changes. And go to settings again go to process and memory i'm not sure why it is only showing uh, 8 db here so i'm just starting i'm not it is not letting me to uh, give more than 8 db we will see it again so when you double click on that to start for the first time it will show you to upgrade the vm so just upgrade the vm first and then we will shut it down again and then we will see whether we will increase we can increase the memory or not so it will take it a little bit of time to start the VM. Let us wait until it is started. Yeah, so now once the upgrade is done, if you go to settings and process uh, and click on the memory, you can see now it is reading the 16 GB RAM. So let us wait until it is up. We will shut it down and then we will reset it to 10 GB because the Cloudera Quick Start VM requires 10 GB to, uh, so that we can use all the features. So I am actually shutting down, we can do it while it is uh, uh, running also, we will just shut it down first, it will take a while to shut down, once it is shut down then we will go to the settings and uh, modify it by increasing the memory as well as by increasing the number of cores. So now it is shut, uh, shut down and we can go to settings and in my case I will be using 4 cores, so it depends upon the cap capacity of your uh, PC or Mac, I have 8 cores on my Mac, so I am using 4 of them. So the more you give, uh, the better your VM will perform. And uh, you should not give more than half because we need uh, a process for uh, our OS and also when we set up Tableau, we need uh, some capacity to Tableau also. And when it comes to memory, I want to give 10 GB memory. So 10, 10240 MB and, uh, and then you can actually close this, it will be saved automatically and you can start the VM. Now the VM will be started with 10 GB RAM and uh, 4 core capacity and then uh, we will uh, see the preview of it as part of the next video but initially we will validate whether the VM is coming up completely or not. So the VM is started now. And you can see that the VM, when, when the VM opens, it, it opens with the browser automatically. This is Firefox which is there on VM. It is a full blown uh, uh, virtual machine with the CentOS and all the Hadoop ecosystem tools running on the, um, uh, on the VM. So as part of the next video, I will demonstrate um, each and every component that is relevant for the course, such as Cloudera Enterprise or Cloudera Manager, MySQL, uh, Hadoop, Spark, everything will be reviewed before we actually start working on the course itself. That being said, I hope you are enjoying the content on the uh, content of the course. And uh, if you like this, please click on the like button of uh, on my YouTube video, or uh, please uh, give the feedback uh, uh, by commenting on the video, or and also. Uh, please, if you if you are watching this through Udemy, please make sure that you provide uh, necessary feedback um, uh, on Udemy so that it gets traction uh, for my course. 
and finally if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this and also going forward i will be uploading a lot many other courses on udemy and other platforms as well thank you bye